Now the muscles I'm working with are anywhere from one and a half millimeters, so they're pretty tiny, yeah. um, but then all the way up to you know about a centimeter and a half, two centimeters. And so I have this wide range of species as well as size classes, and so then I was looking at their clearance rates. Um, to look at their clearance rates, I use poly, I use polystyrene microbeads um, of a specific size, and so I worked with three size classes. Now the beads were kind of there to enhance them. Um, obviously mussels aren't just going to eat stale potato chips, styrofoam potato chips may be better to say. <laughs> so the mussels won't eat styrofoam potato chips, um, which you could say is the micro beads. And so there was kind of that food um, mixed in there as well. And so the polystyrene beads were allowed for this declining clearance. So I was working with a closed volume of water. And in this closed volume, I would take samples every 20 minutes to a half hour, and then I have a particle counter um, that would analyze these particles to tell me how much is in there at each increment. And so with the juvenile mussels, you could see this clear decrease in, um, in particle concentration, and you could see the difference in those three size peaks of the classes that I worked with. And from that, um, I could look at if they're clearing larger particles better than smaller particles. And the overwhelming knowledge, um, and there's tons of literature on zebra mussels saying that they're excellent at clearing small particles and that native mussels are not, are not good. They're not efficient at clearing these smaller particles. But realistically, what I've seen and what I've observed from um, my thesis research in the second part of my project is that they're as efficient or more efficient than zebra mussels at capturing the smallest particles when you're taking this body size into effect. So it comes down to the elometry of body size. Smaller muscles can feed on smaller particles. Um, so although there has been studies comparing the Drysenna invasive species to natives, a lot of the natives they've used are three to four times bigger than the invasive species of Drysenna that they've been measuring. And so obviously in that you're going to see the native muscles aren't as efficient at clearing these small particles. But um, I'm looking at same size classes and we found out they are the same, if not better.